Good morning and welcome to another vlog. I just pulled up to the house. So where we left off, I had um, not quite completed all of the taping of the drywall seams. My goal for that day was to complete the whole um, taping of all the drywall seams. However, that just did not happen. I was definitely over ambitious on that, but I only have the master bed and bath to do. And then once I'm finished with that, I'm going to start back at the opposite end of the house where I started um, the other yesterday. And I'm going to start um, sanding and then putting my um, final coats on. So I will still have a lot to do today. It's just going to extend me out by about a day because I have to wait until tomorrow to be able to sand and coat what I do today in the master bed and bath. So that's not ideal, but it is what it is. I can only push myself so far. I was here for about 12 hours yesterday. Um, it is now 11 a.m. I'm sure I'm going to be here till about 11 or 12 tonight as well. Um, but that's fine. I'm getting it done. We got our AC turned on yesterday. So I let the AC run all night last night to kind of get the humidity out of the air and help all of that drywall mud dry. Um, so I haven't seen it yet. I'm excited to go in and see what it looks like and hit the ground running. So yeah, let's open it up. All right. So I just got in looking at everything. Ooh, everything looks really nice. No bubbling. No ripples. Looks good. I like it. Let's go check out the front bedroom, which is where I started yesterday. Same thing. No bubbles, no ripples. That looks really nice. I am very happy at the outcome. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and kind of smooth out these edges. So that way I can go in with my 12 inch coat on there. It looks really good. There's not a whole lot of sanding. You can just, and you probably can't see it on the camera, but there's some ridges here that I'll just knock off. Literally one pass of that sanding block will take care of that. So I still have my work cut out for me. All of this is done. The laundry room, the bathroom is done. This bedroom is done. All of this is done. I finished up until right there at the door last night. So all of this living room area is done, but I need to start at this seam right here and then work my way into the master. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to start back at that front bedroom and I will start sanding and applying final coats. Well, we are making progress slowly but surely. So when we arrived here today, I had um, finished almost all of the living room, but I had a few things that I needed to finish in here before I can move on to the bedroom. So it was this seam, the two seams above and below the window, those are done. Now, moving on to the master, I have finished all of this wall and that wall. I am currently mid seam on this one right now. Um, over the door is done and then the two above and below this window are done and then after that we'll move on to the master bath and closet. The closet is probably going to be the most time consuming part because there are three top to bottom corners and one of them is um, had a pretty serious gap here so I pre-filled it the other night. Of course it shrank a little bit so I do have some cracking so I'll go in there and put a quick pre-fill in before I put my joint tape down. Then I have a few joints along this wall, over the shower, and then um, this pretty good size corner as well. I probably should have pre-filled that, but I totally missed it. So I'll go in and push a pre-fill in, and then I'll um, 
tape it up. So that will take a little bit of extra time to dry, but that's okay. So it is coming along. Ryan just got to the other house. He actually took our puppies for vaccinations this morning. They needed their rabies and their um, booster shots. So he took them there this morning with my mom and her dogs. And I just stayed here and worked. So, and I'm gonna keep on working. Like I said, we're making progress. I really only have that bath and closet left to do. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna start back at the opposite end of the house and start sanding away. Um, I have Ryan bringing me a bucket because I totally forgot to bring a water bucket with me this morning. Um, Cause I'm gonna do kind of a mix between a wet and dry sand on the walls just so I can kind of control that dust. I'm not gonna do a complete dry sand, but I'm also not just gonna wet sponge sand it either. Um, I actually got some sanding blocks for drywall. So it has a good grit on it, but I'm going to dip it in water before and during um, the sanding process to help kind of control that dust. Just cause I don't want it getting into our HVAC system. And I mean, drywall dust just goes everywhere. So gonna try to avoid some of that. Um, after he is done feeding the pups at the house, I think he's gonna bring lunch. So I'm just gonna keep working up until that point. Um, and then I'll check with you guys in a little bit. Good evening, everybody. Just coming to you with an update. So I have finished taping all of the seams in the entire house, and I am just now finishing up doing my corner beads. So what we got for the corners are these. So they are metal corners with paper attached to them to, um, to mud down to the wall. They make a really nice, sturdy, sharp corner. I love these things, they're very affordable. I think they were like $4.50 a piece. Um, we have seven corners in the house, so we got seven of these. So, we're, that's happening now. So I have one here on this corner. I have one on this corner. This is two corners here, but this is the one I'm still working on. So I'm going through doing everything with a four inch knife. Um, including all of the edges on my corner beads. However, this is two corners here. So, if you look up here, if you can see those lines. So, I was trying to, like, pre-float this right joint. It did great. This, I'm sorry, this right corner, it did great. I put on the left corner, and I went to go do that. But because this is a six-inch wall right here, this is a six inch gap. The four inch was digging into the side I had just done. So I paused on that and I finished both sides with the four inch knife. And what I'm going to do is, grab, sorry. What I'm going to do is grab my six inch knife and go ahead and just float this out because it's gonna save me a lot of headache tomorrow when it comes time to sand and actually float. I'm just going to go ahead and grab my six inch knife and float this out into one solid piece of wall. So it's a little bit of extra work that's going to save me a lot of time tomorrow. So I'm just looking at this, see how that looks on camera, I'm not really sure. Um, it's definitely rough right now. Um, all of my seams are very nice and flat um, and smooth, so I'm happy about that, but my corners are a little bit rough. And I understand that that's going to be the case. I'm definitely going to float this out tomorrow to a six inch. This is a four inch now. 
um, it's really it's really hard to feather that edge right here like I've been doing on the seams on these corners because I want to be sure that all of this is filled in nice and then tomorrow I'll take a sander and just quickly sand that edge down and then float it out at that point. Once this is dry, it'll save me a lot of time. So I'm gonna get working on this six inch float right now. finished product there's definitely some imperfections in there and that's totally fine that's the beauty of it I can just go in tomorrow sand off anything that's not perfect actually I am gonna grab those though right now it's just some over overhang um, but as far as I'm concerned taping this house is complete so now I'm going to sit down for about two and a half minutes take a quick little break and then I'm going to get to sanding. All right, so I have my bucket of water here, my sponge floating in there. So we'll wring out some of that water and dust. So, I don't know if you can see it very well on the camera, but there's some rough edges there. I just gotta take a sponge to kind of knock down some of those ridges. And she'll be good to go for her last and final coat. All right, so Ryan showed up to help me sand. We got all of the sanding done that we were able to do. So the stuff that I taped today, we can't sand until tomorrow. But we got everything that I did last night sanded today. So now we're going home and we took the dogs to go get shots today. So they're mad at me <laughs> and I'm gonna go home and spend some more time with them. I did go shopping with our mom today and got a lot of good stuff for the house, which will be on the reveal part. So that's always the fun part is decorating and not this part. putting everything together. So I was out spending money while he was making us money. So I, it is now 10 p.m. and this is the first night since we've started this process that we've gone home before like 11 o'clock midnight. So it is a treat for me that I'll actually get to sit down, watch some TV and not instantly fall asleep because that's what I've been doing. So we, um, yeah, we're gonna head home now and just relax and I'll be back at it tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. 